it's training as usual for members of the Afghan National Army's 3rd Kandak 3rd Brigade at the Polacharki Military Compound. Coalition partners Germany and Romania are providing extensive gunnery training for the ANA's new T-62 tank crews. Armor is essential to success in the global war on terror here in Afghanistan. Romanian Major Milja Golgan, commanding officer for the Romanian mobile training teams, explains why. We know if you don't have a punch like this, a punch like this, uh, you cannot, uh, let's say, deter your enemy. So I think that the most important uh, function of this armor battalion in uh, Central Corp Corps of ANA it is to have a deterrence tool in the hands of the Afghan government. With that tool and dedicated trainers like Germany and Romania, the ANA will be ready to defend their country's interests now and in the future. For Combined Joint Task Force Phoenix in Kabul, Afghanistan, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Rafael Rodriguez. Task Force Phoenix's 1st Embedded Training Team and the 2nd Kandak 1st Brigade of the Afghan National Army conducted a series of checkpoints to inspect for illegal arms trafficking along suspected smuggling routes into the city of Kabul, Afghanistan recently. A checkpoint like this one recently caught a shipment of over three tons of narcotics. So this mission will help provide a measure of stability to Afghanistan and help to prevent the re-emergence of terrorism throughout the world. <laughs> For Coalition Joint Task Force Phoenix in Kabul, Afghanistan, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Rafael Rodriguez. The Central Corps of the Afghan National Army conducted infantry live fire training exercises near Kabul recently. U.S. trainers finally see the fruits of their labors. They were only in place to ensure safety and evaluate what's proven to be decidedly superior performances of the leadership and combat firepower of the ANA. Afghan soldiers' superior performance caused one of their instructors to say, They're doing outstanding. Marked improvement with each iteration. Next time we're going to have to make it a little bit tougher for them. This training was in preparation for possible future combat operations. It proves the ANA is able to fight terrorism and provide a safe, secure, and stable environment within Afghanistan. The Coalition Joint Task Force Phoenix in Kabul, Afghanistan. I'm Army Staff Sergeant Rafael Rodriguez. Very good. You got both targets. Good job. <laughs> Another example of the international community's commitment to Afghanistan arrived at the Kabul International Airport recently. An Antonov heavy transport plane carried a substantial donation of Soviet bloc equipment from coalition partner Romania in support of the Afghan National Army. This is the fifth donation from Romania and it's about 90 tons worth of ammunition and weapons. This Romanian donation was particularly appreciated. Because we're using ammunition to train the Afghan National Army and we'll use it to help them defend themselves. So ammunition is critical. Afghans have the will and donations from coalition partners make it possible to continue their rise from the ashes on the road to achieving a stable government free of terrorist threat. For Combined Joint Task Force Phoenix in Kabul, Afghanistan, I'm Army Sergeant Rafael Rodriguez.